The next two examples that we have are rational inequalities. So let's see how that differs from what we've been doing. So the question is 5 over x plus 4 is greater than or equal to 1. So the first thing that we want to do is make sure it's greater than or equal to or some inequality to 0. So we have 5 over x plus 4 and if I subtract 1 from both sides I get greater than or equal to 0. But now I have to combine these and in order for me to do that I need a common denominator. So it's 5 over x plus 4 minus minus 1 can be written as x plus 4 over x plus 4. Right, so if you multiply top and bottom by x plus 4, this is what you get is, and let's for now just work with the equality. So we get 5, and just keep in mind that this negative needs to distribute to both. So minus x minus 4 all over x plus 4 is equal to 0. So we get 1 minus x over x plus 4 is equal to 0. So the only way that this, it's actually going to be equal to 0 is when the top is equal to 0. right? So in other words, when x equals 1. But since we're working with inequalities, it can switch signs depending on what the bottom part is too. right? So if we look at our domain, x cannot be negative 4, right? So those are our um, test boundaries. So we have a negative 4 and we have a 1 and we're going to put an open dot at negative 4 meaning we can't include that part but a closed dot at 1 meaning it can be part of it because it's greater than or equal to. Now we're going to test the regions same as before. So Let's go down to here and test it in this region. So if we plug in a negative 5, uh, let's see. So negative 5 would be a positive on top divided by a negative on the bottom. So overall, it'll be a negative here. And then here, uh, if I try a 0, It'll be a positive divided by a positive, so this will be a positive here. And then if I plug in any values after that, it'll be a negative divided by a positive, so this side will be a negative. So keep in mind that I'm working with this expression here, not the original. If you were going to work with the original, you just plug it in and see if it's true or false. right? So if you plug it in to x, so for instance, if you plug in negative 5 and you get something that's greater than or equal to 1, then that's the area that you want. Okay, so there's multiple ways to look at it. I'm looking at the inequality with the 0 on one side. So since we wanted it to be greater than or equal to 0, we want the area where it's positive. So this is the region that we want. So we want from negative 4, not including negative 4, because if we include it, it's going to be undefined, all the way to 1, and we include 1 because it's greater than or equal to, so it can be zero. Okay. Once again, you can work with the expression that you altered, um, or you can plug it back into the equation that you already were given. So the only downside of working with the equation that you altered is if you made a mistake from this step, then your result is going to be different. So it might be best um, to plug it into the original to see if it's true or false, and if uh, we only are looking for the true regions, right? So you can redo this problem plugging in the values instead of doing the negative positives When we're comparing it to zero, you can actually plug it into the original And see if it's greater than or equal to one and which areas that's true and you'll get the same results